and we focus on standing, sitting, and sleeping tremendously. Those three things can make a big, big difference. If people are waking up in the morning feeling worse than when they went to sleep, they've got a sleeping problem. Their mattress is more likely than not too soft and or their pillow is the wrong thickness and firmness. We help people correct that. We'll make a video about that. Um, sitting, the same thing. Chairs, ergonomic is thrown out there all over the place, but what does it really mean to you and your body? Once you've been worked on and your body's upright without effort and you sit on a chair and you see that the chair is not supporting you in being upright, you know that however ergonomic it's called, it's not really that ergonomic because it's not supporting you, right? Shoes, the same thing. So those, th those three things are very important. The last thing that we do is we do some very specific stretches to release what's stuck on the inside of the spinal cord. People don't realize it, but inside your spine, is a hole much bigger than this one in a spinal cord, which is much bigger than this, that is surrounded by a tissue called the meninges. And everybody's heard of meningitis, and that's when the meninges gets a virus and gets infected, right? And so that meninges is incredibly strong. You could hook one end of a meninges up to a car and another up to another car, and you could tow the car with it. It's so strong, super strong tissue, right? So that's like it's like a, rope, a rock climber on a rope, right? As long as you're climbing and using your muscles to hold you up, it gets more and more tiring. But the minute you say, on belay to the guy that's down below and he holds the rope firm so you can just relax and hang by the rope in your harness, you can relax, life is good. Well, your meninges acts like that rope. It is a tissue inside your body that is so important to holding you up and keeping you going that nobody's paying attention, but nobody's paying attention to it, right? So that's why shoes and things that make you slump, that's why they're comfortable. Because now your muscles let go and your meninges is holding you up. The problem is it's attached to your brain and it's yanking your brain, trying to yank your brain through your head as you pull on it, right? So we pay attention to the meninges, we pay close attention to standing, sitting, and sleeping to help you between visits, and we move bones in the direction the body can't self-correct from head to toe and back up. It's not just focused on the area of pain, it's focused on the getting the whole body correct.